This is the solution to part A of the first of the five questions in the midterm of EC253 Electric Circuits 2 of a couple of days ago. Question 1. In this question, assume, as in the assignment and as in class, that resistances can be complex, real, or imaginary numbers, and that sources can have complex number values. A parenthesis for the viewer who is not in my class. At this point, students have never seen phasors or complex number representations of impedances or anything like that. No, they've used only resistors and DC sources. And the premise is, what if resistances had complex number values, right? And the same with sources. Assume also, as in class and in the assignment, that you can use Ohm's law, KVL, KCL, nodal analysis, MNA to solve the circuit. The value of the source Vs is 10 volts with 30 degrees. Part A of the question, there were four, uh, four parts for the question number one of the exam, um, and it's the one we will be solving in this video, for the circuit. In the figure one below, I'll show you that figure in a moment. After removing the three negative J3 ohm branch from node one down to the reference, compute the voltage of node one and call that VOC. Let's have a look at that circuit in figure one. Here it is. That is the figure of one. So this is the branch that needs to be removed. And, and we will be doing that, right? the 3 negative J3 on branch and we need to solve for the voltage V1. The first thing we do is remove this branch because the problem says so. Now this resistor in parallel with this current source can be simplified to a voltage source of 2 times 7 14 volts with 30 degrees voltage source in series with the 2 ohm resistor. Right? Right. Like that. 2 ohms in series with a 14 volts and 30 degrees uh, source, theta volts. And now we can concentrate our attention on the, um, the voltage source in series with a resistor on the very top branch. That is a 7 ohm branch. By the way, 5 with 0 degrees, that is just a real number, right? That is just uh, 5 volts. We can simplify that to a 5 divided by 2 amps in parallel with a 2 ohm resistor. And that would be something like this. 2.5 amps in parallel with 2. No calculator needed so far. 2 ohms resistor in parallel with this uh, 2 negative J2 ohms is very tempting not to simplify them. So let's simplify them. Simplified. 1.2 negative J0.4 ohms in parallel with that source. 2.5 amps. Well, we can convert, obviously, back uh, that current source and, and these ohms to a voltage source in series with the same ohms. And let's do that. We multiply 2.5 times uh, this complex number down here, and that is the value of the voltage source, and then in series with this impedance. There you go. 3 comma negative 1 volts. And that is the equivalent to the voltage source of all of that in series with this impedance. Now in this circuit, we can find the voltage of node 1 that still is there. We haven't touched it with respect to the reference node. We can solve for that uh, voltage in many different ways, but I will choose to do it this way. If I knew that current Ix, I would say that current produces a voltage drop in these ohms, and this voltage V1 is just 10, 30 degrees minus that voltage drop, which is 2,2 2 multiplied by Ix. If only I knew Ix. But I can't compute Ix, can't I? That Ix is this source minus this one, minus this one, divided by the sum of 2, 2, 1.2, negative J, 0 0.4, and 2 ohms. That is a current. Multiply that uh, times 2, comma 2, and subtract that from 10 with 30 degrees. There. That is your current. But I will not even use a calculator to compute that. Any calculator will do. Uh, let's multiply that times 2, comma 2, and subtract that from the value of the source, like this. Now we use any calculator that can do that, and there are many in the market, and compute that voltage V1, 
which is to be labeled VOC is 13.4 volts with 31.7 degrees and that was the solution of the part A of question 1 of the exam. There is another way of solving the circuit which we have done and we will do that in the next part.